which expression is equivalent to the following quotient for all a is greater than zero, b greater than zero, and c greater than zero. And one of the reasons they, why they had to restrict a, b, and c, because if they actually equal to zero, you would be dividing by zero there, which would be an issue. And actually, this, this whole expression, if a or b were zero, this whole thing would be zero. And then once again, you'd be dividing by zero, which would be an issue. So by constraining it, they're avoiding that problem. But let's see if we can simplify it. So we got all of this, and we just have to remember, dividing by a fraction is equivalent to multiplying by its reciprocal. Reciprocal. <laughs> so this is going to be the same thing as this top, actually, let me color code it, as this top expression. So 3a to the third, b to the fifth, over c to the third, times, so let me actually stay in that color, so that thing, times the reciprocal of this business right over here. So times the reciprocal, so 25c to the fourth power over 15ab squared. And so what's this going to be? Well, let's see, in the numerator, in the numerator, you're going to have 3 times 25 is 75, and then a to the third, b to the fifth, c to the fourth, c to the fourth, and then in the denominator, so you're going to have 15 times a times b squared times c to the third power. Now we can try to simplify. So what's 75 divided by 15? Or if you divide 75 by 15, you're going to get 5. And if you divide if you divide 15 by 15, you get 1. So the coefficient on this thing's just going to be 5. So immediately if I was under time pressure, I would just stop there and say, "Hey, look, the only one of these choices that has only a 5 out front is this choice right over here." So I'm feeling pretty good about it. But I could continue to simplify it. A to the third divided a, if I divide a to the third by a, a to the third and a, I could divide these both by a. This becomes a squared, this becomes one. B to the fifth divided by b squared. Well, that's going to be b to the third power. So this is going to be b to the third power. This is going to be one. C to the fourth divided by c to the third. That's just going to be c. C to the third divided by c to the third is just going to be equal to one. So you get 5a squared b to the third c, which is exactly what you have here. If what I did right at the end here looks a little bit unfamiliar, I encourage you to review exponent properties on Khan Academy. That should help out. But I'll do a little primer here. If I just let me just do a simplified. If I had 75a squared over 15a, you, I hope I guess you you get the 75 over 15 part. That's going to be equal to 5. I mean, I could rewrite this as 75 over 15 times a squared over a. This is 5. And one way to view this is, this is a squared over a to the first. Our exponent properties tell us that this is going to be the same thing as a to the 2 minus 1 power, which is equal to a to the first power. And this is the same thing as saying, well, let's just divide both the numerator and the denominator by a, and you're just going to be left with a. So this part over here, this would just be, 5a. This is obviously a simplified version just to feel good about the exponent properties. Similarly, b to the fifth divided by b squared, that's going to be b to the 5 minus 2 power, which is b to the third. c to the fourth minus c to the third, well, that's going to be c to the 4 minus 3 power, which is c to the first power, which is this choice right here.